Hello everyone, welcome to this part 9 related to the coding in RQDA part number 2. As I told you, this will be a little bit more specific uh, discussion about RQDA and what will we cover? We will see that one. How to uh, write many codes into on the same sentence. After how to change the color code, how to merge codes and we'll also see some small little more options. So first of all, I will again open the same uh, files and you have to, maybe you, you, if you, if you've never done that kind of analysis, you will ask yourself, okay, but how do I need to be organized once I import all the files to, to do the code? Do I need to make uh, a mind map? Do I need to think before or do I need to code straight or how? Is the the work related? How do do I do, do I need to get organized? And this is quite a good question. And actually, I think that there is no uh, the best uh, uh, best techniques. I just I just mean uh, do the way you are thinking before to do something. Just think about a strategy and then try to apply this strategy. But for instance, you may do a organization before to do the code. You may uh, take a paper and write some uh, some general uh, baseline, and then you may apply that way when you code. Uh, otherwise, you may just do like me. I like to do like this. So I just open the files. I open the first files, and then I do uh, codings like this, and 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 I code like uh, like from the from the first line to the last line. And then I, I, I do the same with the second file until the last file. So I like to, to do my codings like this. So every time uh, I'm adding some more codes and I'm doing like this. But if you don't like it to do like this, just do it on a other way. Once again, uh, this tutorial is related to how this software is working. And it's not telling you you should use that technique or this one or this one or this one. So this is just uh, up to you, actually. But I want to show you some uh, nice features. For instance, we've got a code Twitter here. But imagine that you have, uh, this is not really relevant on this, this code, but imagine that you've got a lot and a lot of, of codes. So maybe a good idea would be to open another file that I've got. So I will open another file. So I will just close this one. And I will just open the related files. OK. And now we'll just see the codes here. And as you can see on this file, I've got a lot and a lot of code. And I've got, for instance, the code Twitter. But for instance, imagine that I'm coding my files. Let's take this one. And for instance, I forget that I created the, the, I forget that this code exists. And then, instead of using this one, I'm doing a new because I forget that the, the, this one exists. And I will say that this is, uh, I just say tweets like this. And I write OK. So now you can see that I've created the code tweets. And let's say, uh, anyway, I will just underline something. No matter, it's just for the example. Let's say that this is related to Twitter. It's actually not really true, but it's, let's say it's related to, tweet, to tweets. So I write marks. And I will do the same one for the next, uh, next interviews. And imagine what happened. At the end, you discover that you've got the code Twitter here. And you've got the code tweets here, which is actually the same meaning. So this is a real mistake because you cannot make two codes who, are, who, who means exactly the same. So look at this. Here I've got uh, all the stuff about Twitter. And here I've got all the stuff about tweets. So if I do that kind of mistake, it's very simple. I'm just right clicking with the mouse and then I go to merge selected with and I will merge the tweets for sure with the code Twitter. 
and then I press on OK. And now if I go on if I go on T you will see that I've got the code Twitter and I do not have the code tweet tweet anymore. And if I click two times on it, sorry, two times on it, you can see that the last code was merged in here. So this was the last code I did. So so it was merged in here. And basically, in my own opinion, I think that this merging function is very, very, very useful. So if you do a mistake, do not lose your time to, to, to uncode everything and, and, and coding again in, in the good table. Just use the merging function, which is very nice. After that, I will just close this project and I will just open the last one. We've got the, I will just open the first file. Okay, so let's say that this is related to Twitter, but let's imagine that here, uh, so they, they were also talking about Facebook at the same time. And this is the point in which I, I want to go, is that you can underline many times, you, you can, you can, you can uh, put many codes to the same line. So let's see how this is working. It's very simple. I'm just adding a new code. And I'm just writing Facebook. OK. And OK. And now let's say that this line is also related to Facebook. So I just mark this. And now you can see that if I click on Twitter and Facebook, the same line will appear. So let's try it two times on Facebook. You can see that I've got one code here, line 1670. And if I click on Twitter, I've got the same one, which is staying here. So you can see that you can you can add many codes to the to the line, and you can also uh, add another code. You can as as much code on the same line, so you can have th this line could be related to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, to any subject you wish. So do not hesitate uh, if it's necessary to to un to to underline the same sentence with many code, as much as you want. It's up to you actually, and you even can put some codes uh, here inside, and inside here, uh, inside here another code. So just do it the way you like. And other nice uh, tools uh, is uh, to change the color of Facebook. Let's imagine that for some reason you want that the code of Facebook stands in blue instead of red because Facebook logo is blue. To do it, you just go here on Facebook and then you right click and then you set coding marks color. And here you've got a lot of choice. So let's take the blue number one, no, just the blue, classic blue. And I write OK. And now if I press two times here, you can see that the code which was before red has been changed in blue. So this may be quite useful for some uh, specific things, especially if the, the code is like Facebook and if it's easier for you to recognize a blue logo for Facebook uh, because it's a blue logo. So just change it like this. After, uh, if, you, if you right click here, you have many other choice. And those are quite interesting because if you have many codes, you can just ask them to show, ask the software to show codes without code categories, without memo, with memos, with code categories, uh, with codings. So if I try to show code without memo, I see that Twitter has no memo and Facebook has no memo. 
and then to show all codes I will just do show all by created times and this is by created time and if I want to sort them uh, by the alphabet I just click here or here so here is the T which is first and the F which is last and if I click again here it's the, the, the opposite which happens after you've got other the merging function we already saw that we, we already know everything so I just let you try the other function here after you can uh, export as HTML we'll see that on the next videos how to use it and this is the code memo and you can add it to categories but we'll see that on a next video and by the way I didn't tell you but for the files you can do the same kind of, uh, of stuff you can uh, show the codes by uh, with with memo with annotation without memo etc etc you can uh, show the properties you can do many stuff you can even have a search function find the word you you you, you can have uh, you, you can do many many functions so i encourage you to try everything in understand to to understand how this software is working uh, because in my opinion it's very nice to, to know all the function about a software so do not hesitate just to take a tour and this will be the same here here you will have some options so every time when, when you are in the menu do not hesitate to right click with your mouse and to see what you can do okay thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, we'll see us on the next video